Well, hi there. I'm Carol Lutzinger, and I'm so glad you've tuned in to Science Stuff today. We have a show for you today, and I am going to let you wonder about what is behind this plastic bag. You know, one of those things about scientists is they always want to know, what is it? And where is it? And why does it do that? And what would happen if? So today we are going to say, well, what are we going to do with our pumpkin? Now, in a recent program, we have tried to see if pumpkins float, um, but we haven't done anything with a pumpkin other than that. So I thought today we would talk about pumpkins and make something special out of our pumpkin. But before we do that, let's work some science into it. If you notice this pumpkin, it has a stem here. This is where the pumpkin was attached to the vine that it was growing on. And some point, somebody planted a pumpkin seed in the ground. And we've talked about seeds before. You might even like to eat pumpkin seeds. So the so this grew from a seed planted in the ground. The vine grew up and on that vine there were some flowers. Now once upon a time the flower for this that became this pumpkin was here on this end of the pumpkin. And the flower was out here looking pretty and a butterfly or a bee flew by and crawled down into the flower and got some of that yellow fuzzy stuff that we call pollen and transferred it to another flower and went to the other flowers. And the flower that made this pumpkin became the pumpkin. And inside this pumpkin, there are many more seeds. And so to make this into a science, what can we learn about it? Well, we're going to see how many pumpkins are inside this how many pumpkin seeds are in this pumpkin. So in order to do that, we have to cut a hole in it. And so I brought a knife. Now, when you use a knife, there are certain things that you have to be careful about. And one is that you don't cut your finger off. And so I, I'm glad my knife has a good handle. And I'm going to be very careful and keep my other fingers out of the way and make a cut in the top of my pumpkin so that we can get down inside the pumpkin. And this knife could be sharper, but it isn't. And so we're just going to make several cuts into the top of our pumpkin. And I have to make it big enough to get my hand down inside there too. I need to think about that. There's a lot of things to think about when you're carving a pumpkin. Now, Halloween is a good time. At the grocery store, there's pumpkins everywhere. Pumpkins, and some of them are even very unusual with lumps and bumps all over them. Some of them are green. They're part of the family called the Gourds family. And so, as we cut down in here, I can tell by the way the, the skin of this pumpkin is and how the knife slides in that it's pretty thick inside. But I wonder what it does look like inside. Now I've got the top off and we're going to pull it up. And oh, look at that nice gooey stuff. And all these little pumpkin seeds are hanging down. It's kind of like a chandelier, right? Um, so here's a whole lot of pumpkin seeds up here. Now, people take these off, they dry them, and they roast them in their oven, and they make a nice, crunchy taste, tasty snack. And it's probably healthier for you than, than potato chips and hot Cheetos. So that's my lid. Now, inside the pumpkin is another story. Lots more ooey, gooey seed stuff in there. But on the face, there's no face. So that means we have to make a face on our pumpkin. And I am going to take off my rigs because I don't want pumpkin juice all over them. And I'm going to reach my hand down in here and I am going to pull out. Ooh, rah! 
No, it's not bad. But there's a lot of pumpkin seeds in here. Here's one handful. And I'm going to drop them right in there. And there's another handful in here. And I'm going to be an ooey gooey mess when we're through with this program today. Ooh. Yes, but messes are fun. And that's what science is all about. Having fun and learning. And you see what a nice little shape these seeds are? And they're all just about the same exact size. Have you ever noticed that when your mom is cooking or grandma or Tia or somebody is cooking and they've opened those, remember when we had the green peppers and we opened that, it had a little teeny tiny seeds all over everywhere. And this pumpkin has bigger seeds all over. And down inside, there's another handful of seeds. So, so far I've got three handfuls out. And you might want to see what's inside. Take a look what's inside. If you look down in there, there's still more pumpkin seeds in there. Remember, from one seed, the plant grows and creates many, many thousands of more seeds. And that is the amazing thing about growing stuff. Now, boy, that's digging in here. See, it feels like they're kind of in sections. And, yep, gooey, ooey, gooey. Y'all like ooey, gooey stuff? Yeah, here we go. One more handful. And we need to stop here so I can go wash my hands. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Boy, oh boy. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're... All right, now I'm scraping inside the pumpkin to get some more loose stuff out of it. And I'm going to start working on the eyes. Now, in the old days, you wonder where jack-o'-lanterns started? They started over in Europe. Uh, that's the countries that are England, France, Germany, those countries across the Atlantic Ocean from us. Around Halloween time that we call Halloween, people thought that on a particular night, which was October the 31st, that spirits came up from the dead and came roaming around the earth and they would get you. And so people started carving gourds. Uh, they didn't have these pumpkins. They had gourds. And they would carve those out and put lights in them to scare away the spirits. And we just, we just like to play, right? Um, here in South Texas, we, we celebrate All Saints Day. And, and we connect that with Halloween. And we, we have all sorts of decorations around. And gee, this eye hole doesn't want to work real well. But traditionally... The pumpkin that you make into a jack-o'-lantern has triangle eyes. And if you've been to school, you know that a triangle is a figure that has three sides. So there's one of my triangles. And I'm just going to set that right there. And here's how it looks so far with one eye. So we got to have two eyes. Uh, so our jack-o'-lantern can see because until he's got two eyes he's not, and a nose and a mouth, he's not a jack-o'-lantern. He's still a pumpkin. And so we're going to make another triangle. And you can tell that I am not a jack-o'-lantern carver expert because some people who get those great big pumpkins make beautiful designs on their pumpkins. Mm, this one is just going to be a traditional, run-of-the-mill, ho-hum, ordinary, perfectly ordinary jack-o'-lantern with another eye. So now he's beginning to look a little bit more like a jack-o'-lantern instead of a pumpkin. And we're going to, you know, your eyes are here, your nose is there. So that's what I'm going to do on my jack-o'-lantern, but his nose... I don't know. We may not have room for a mouth. This is going to be a hungry jack-o'-lantern. But, okay. Here we go. One more side to the triangle. Did you know there's a bunch of triangles in the sky at night when you go look at the stars? You can pick out lots of triangles in the sky. Okay. And, 
All right. The nose is a little bit smaller. <laughs> so now I have three little triangles sitting there. And here is so far, but he needs a smile, don't you think? Jack o' lanterns look a lot more fun when they have a great big smile. So here we go. He may fall apart because this is going to be a low down smile. And remember, I have to be careful and keep my thumb out of the way because I sure don't want to cut my thumb. And if you've ever had a cut, you know those don't feel real good. So I'm going to be really, really careful. And oh, he's going to have a nice big smile. Y'all, do y'all have a smile in your pocket? Have you ever heard that song? The Brownies and Girl Scouts used to sing that song when Mike, when I was little. Oh yeah, there's a, there is a very narrow smile. But he's a happy little camper. And if I were going to put this out in my front yard, I might put a candle inside to have a light glow in the night and sit there and say, well, there's Mrs. Lutzinger's jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. And he's hollow on the inside. And we took all the seeds out. And if we put his hat back on, there he is. He is set and ready to scare somebody who comes to my house. Although in my neighborhood, nobody really trick or treats. So there's my jack-o'-lantern. He's no longer a pumpkin. He is a jack O lantern and that word means he's Jack which he's a guy and he's a lantern in the old days before people had flashlights they carried a lantern around which was a candle inside a glass container and it wasn't very safe but that's how they got around at night no flashlight but they had a lantern all right now we've finished carving our jack-o-lantern and we have all of these seeds and there's still a few left inside the pumpkin jack-o-lantern if we were going to make this into a science investigation we would really and truly count the seeds and as you can see there's a lot of them so it would be mostly fun to do this with a friend and you take some and they take some and you count them and you tally them one of the ways to count a lot of things is to put them in groups of 10 and then you can go 10, 20, 30, 40. And it's not as long as saying one, two, three, four, five. Or you could say, well, how much are they going to weigh? How much of the pumpkin weight is seeds? Or how much does the pumpkin weigh when we put the face on it and make it a jack-o'-lantern? There's a lot of different ways to do science and have fun at the same time. Look around your house. See if you could get a pumpkin at the grocery store and get a grown-up to help you carve a really cool jack-o'-lantern and count those seeds and then take some of them and plant them in your yard and see if you get a pumpkin of your own for next Halloween because it takes several months for the plant to grow. It takes about probably about nine months and around here we usually plant things like this in the spring so that they're ready for October. So take a look around at the grocery store, see what has seeds in it. Try planting some of those seeds, especially a jack-o'-lantern gourd for your very own Halloween pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. Thank you so much for watching Science Stuff and tune in again for next episode and we'll have fun together doing science. <laughs>